Hello, my name is Georg Walthardt. I'm spokesperson for Mercedes Me and the MBUX. Uh, the MBUX is our new uh, system. It's called Mercedes Benz User Experience, and it's a completely new operation in in the car. So we have a new, we have four different um, operation possibilities in the car. The first possibility to operate the system is this button controls in the wheel. So I have one button control on the left side. Here I can operate the combi instrument cluster. And on the right side, I operate the head unit for navigation and so on. So for example, I can change the, the display styles in a, in a combi instrument. So we have four different styles on that. Classic, sport, progressive, understated. So I will choose to sport design then have another look on that and of course I can individualize this as I would like to have it so I can change the pictures on that for example I can put the navigation screen into this or something else for what I would, would like to do um, many many possibilities to make it personalized for for my uh, point of view for example, I can also take the whole display uh, as I like it. Here I can also operate all functions uh, of the car very easy in the middle armrest during driving. And the third thing is to operate it directly on a screen with touch screen. So it's also possible to operate it directly there. This is the first time with our MBUX to have touch screen uh, in the car. And I can also individualize it. So if, for example, I can say navigation should be in the first place, my telephone in the second place. And there's an NVIDIA chip in there. So it works very, very fast. As you see, you can operate it very smoothly and very fast. It's, it's a very high performance um, NVIDIA chip in the head unit. So also what you can see um, there is you see these blue lines in, on the roads? Do you see that? These are um, informations from our back end. It's called on-street parking information. And this works with our sensors in the car. So for example, other cars drive through the city and they scan on the, on the streets the free or uh, empty places for parking slots and send this information to our backend and then we send this information to the map on, on to our customers. And so you see on this blue line there's a high possibility to find parking spaces on the street. Mm. So this real-time parking information is in the, in the map included. So this is one thing. The other thing is, what is very, very cool and to operate a system is via the voice. So we have improved this voice recognition and we call it Hey Mercedes. How can I help you? I'm hungry. Please select an entry. Take the first one. What would you like to do next? Navigate me. The route is being calculated. So that's very, very easy to find the destination. I don't have to, to learn some commands. I only say I'm hungry and the system has artificial intelligence and know if I'm hungry, I'm looking for a restaurant. And then they look on, online for restaurants around me and make some proposals for me. So, and it's very, very easy to operate a system via the voice. So you can speak with the system as we other persons. And the system learns more and more. So, so maybe if it don't understand some commands today, maybe in two weeks it will learn this command. So I can also say, um, hey Mercedes, drive me to the next supermarket. Please select an entry. Take number two. 
You can choose to set the selected destination as your new destination for navigation, or to modify the current route guidance instead. Further commands. So, uh, but as you see, I only have to say, drive me to the next supermarket. It makes me some proposals and it finds very, very fast. Of course, you can also have to, to have a little bit fun with, with the system. Uh, our engineers installed also some, some jokes. So for example, you can ask, Hey Mercedes. What do you want to do? What do you think about Tesla? The same as you, otherwise you would not be sitting here. So they have some fun with that. <laughs> or you can ask, Hey Mercedes, how old are you? I'm not really keeping track. <laughs> so that's also possible. But for the main cases, it is to have information for navigation. You also can ask, um, Hey Mercedes, do I need an umbrella How can tomorrow? I help you? No, it doesn't appear to be raining and at the moment. The it hasn't rained days. at all today in the current location. And you also can speak in one spot uh, to to the system, you don't have to wait for an answer. So as you have seen, I ask, how do I need an umbrella tomorrow? You don't have to stop, hey Mercedes, and wait. Only make it in one stop, one shot. So this is our MBUX, our Mercedes-Benz user experience system. This is standard in US market in every GLE cars. And I hope the customer will have fun with this system. Mm -hmm.